just joining us. Good morning. Thanks so much for uh, joining us on this Friday morning as we continue to bring you the latest on this uh, large scale tech outage that has affected many, uh, many businesses around the world, not just here locally, but having a huge implication for our local transportation system as well as banks and airlines. Yeah. All right. So we've been continuing to cover this because uh, our mission here is to inform you about things that impact your lives. And we want to go right now to Marcella Robertson, who is live in the newsroom with the latest update. She's uh, been digging for information to get us uh, up to speed on, on what's going on. Good morning to you. Hey, good morning, guys. Obviously, this all has to do with Microsoft, right? So I want to start with that because in the last hour, they put out uh, information saying that uh, multiple services are starting to see improvements uh, in what is becoming available, so different applications. So that is good news as it uh, looks like we're starting to try to come out of this as they work to, to mitigate this issue. Again, uh, this all started, we know, last night we are expecting another update according to Microsoft within the next hour or so. So I'll be sure to look out for that and bring you the latest information. But uh, they are saying that a lot of their uh, applications have recovered uh, and are, are back online. Microsoft Defender, Microsoft Intune, OneNote, uh, SharePoint, Windows 365. So uh, a long list of those and they are continuously posting those updates. But we know that this, of course, is impacting uh, banks companies, airlines, uh, transit agencies on a global scale right now. And here at home, if you're just joining us, Metro is impacted by this as well. So uh, Metro has been uh, impacted uh, um, its website as far as its internal systems. Some of those have also been impacted and are down right now. Their IT teams uh, we know are working to address this issue. And uh, as far as service, normally the, the service opens right at five o'clock on the dot, uh, but they have put out information that that has been been delayed. Uh, bus service may also be delayed this morning. Metro access call center is down. Uh, Metro says that it was going to be contacting customers with reservations to let them know if their trip has been affected. So please, if you're getting ready to head out the door, please be aware that uh, there are some major changes. If you take Metro, um, we're working to get more information uh, from local police departments as well as hospitals. I can tell you've checked in with uh, Fairfax and Nova, still waiting to hear back from them. Children's National um, and Johns Hopkins, we are, know they have no uh, impact from the outage. Or, or delays there. Uh, MedStar Georgetown also not impacted by this this Microsoft uh, this Microsoft uh, software issue. So uh, we know we've been checking in with Jess. A lot of the airports impacted, um, and really just important to be aware, uh, stay with us as we continue to to monitor this information that's coming in. But really important to to stay really plugged in uh, if you plan to travel or if you need to uh, kind of change your commute this morning, guys. Absolutely. Uh, that is the latest on the air travel. Let's check in with our Randy Ayala, who is live this morning at Union St or Jess Arnold, excuse me, uh, at Reagan National this morning. Uh, Jess, how are the flights still looking? I know when we checked in with you last, surprisingly, there were no major delays or cancellations on the board. Yeah, and things are very dynamic this morning. I think that's what we're learning because I was just checking the FAA site that has that list of ground stops and it had a ground stop for American again. So I think it's really going to be dynamic this morning as they work to get all these issues resolved. So it looks like that might have been a false sense of relief earlier when um, I did see that cancellation listed on that site. I'll just keep you posted, you know, as I see those listed. But right now there is one listed again. Although there was a, a cancellation listed for Spirit's ground stop. So once again, very dynamic. We'll have to see how this progresses throughout the morning. But we're starting to really see the crowds come out. And I'm starting to see some more cancellations on the board. So I want to show you that here. This is the first American flight that I have seen canceled this morning. This one's to Boston. Early flight, 645 this morning. So that might be the trend that we start to see moving on. A couple of delays. There's a cancellation on an Air Canada flight to Toronto. Cancellation that we had seen from Frontier as that ripple effect from yesterday's outage on their end. Again, they had lifted their ground stop hours ago. But again, there is going to be this ripple effect we see as everyone starts to get their systems um, reordered back online. We are seeing, I'm gonna, we're gonna pan this way, a larger crowd here. This really just picked up in the last 10 minutes as people head to security. Remember, I told you uh, maybe about 20 minutes ago, we, we talked to someone with the TSA who was saying that how the airlines are handling it right now in this time of uncertainty is checking people in, checking their bags, sending them down here through security. 
and then we'll kind of have to wait to see once they get to the gate if they're going to be stuck there at the gate with any delays or cancellations. But this line here at the TSA checkpoint is really picking up as people start to arrive for these first flights out. And this is when I believe we'll start to see more of that red on the board and potentially more delays. But we'll keep you posted. Again, I'm checking that FAA site every five minutes to see about any ground stops or cancellations. But for now, I'll send it back to you. Jess, it looks like there's a good number of people behind you in line. Um, do they are they aware of what's going on? What's the sentiment there? The tone of the travelers at the airport? Yeah, you see everyone glancing at the board as they walk past trying to see if their flight is still on time or if theirs is now in the red. We'll try to chat with some people now that there is more of a crowd. Like I said, this just picked up in the last 10 minutes that we've seen people really standing in line here for their flights. So um, I did hear a sense of relief from people, you know, as they saw their flights are on time, but it might be the case that they won't find out until they get to their gate that there might in fact be a delay or a cancellation. Jess Arnold reporting from a Reagan National Airport. We continue to uh, cover this big story about this global outage that's having a major impact all over the world and impacting a lot of people here in the DMV as well.